Hey guys, I just finally accomplished something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while now, and that is to move out of my condo in the middle of the city and get a house in the country. And so I, I finally pulled the trigger on that and I'm sitting in the hammock in, in my backyard in my new house. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to share some reasons why I think it is better to move out of the city if you have the opportunity. And this is about the most relaxing setting that I could possibly hope to do this. You know, I actually do get on edge a little bit every time I record a video, which probably sounds silly because I've done so many of them, but um, this is about the, the most relaxing place on, on planet Earth for me. And as a full-time entrepreneur, you know, I haven't worked a, a job and had a steady paycheck in, in over two years now. It's really, really helpful to have a, a peaceful, place like this where I can just step outside and and here I am I can just step away from the stress so without further ado here are 10 reasons to move out of the city the first reason I wanted to move out of the city was for the sake of my own health it's it's healthier to be out here I mean not just in terms of the stress right because stress will kill you all by itself even if everything else that you're doing is healthy but also because the air is cleaner um, you're further away from pollution, you're further away from, there's less radiation, right? And the cities are just this stew of, of radiation from um, cell phone towers and from everybody's Wi-Fi around you. And, you know, the city I was living in, they have free Wi-Fi for all the cable customers. That means that there's these really strong uh, radio signals that are going through you at every moment of the day. And now, you know, they're, they're, coming out with this, this fifth generation uh, technology that's gonna be even stronger signals. And there's, there's a ton of evidence to suggest that these wireless signals are, have bad effects on our health, are harming our health. They do it subtly though, right? It's not, it's not like something that you notice right away. It's something that just builds up, accumulates over time. And it's very difficult to say that that's the particular culprit uh, as opposed to the other 10,000 things that are unhealthy in our lives. So that's why they get away with it, um, even though there, there's plenty of scientific evidence to suggest that the, that is causing problems and that those problems are getting worse. So you, by moving to the country, you get away from that radiation and you get away from a lot of the pollution. Now, of course, it's not perfect. You know, there's still some pollution, there's still some radiation, but it's a big step in the right direction. And when you're in better health, then everything in your life goes better, right? You have more energy, you look better, you feel better, you're more productive, you do a better job of your work or your business because you have that energy, you have a more positive outlook. So the effect of being in good health cannot be overestimated. The second reason I wanted to live out here was to have more space. Now I, I have a backyard, you know, I have this nice uh, canal that leads to a giant lake behind me. I can get a boat if I want. Um, I, I can put a grill on my lanai, you know, living in a condo uh, without a balcony, I couldn't even have a grill. I can plant an herb garden if I want. There's so many more possibilities now because I have space. Next reason is you have more privacy. And of course that goes along somewhat with having more space. If you have more space, there are fewer people on it. Um, but the, the privacy is, is really nice that I don't have a homeowners association. I don't have a condo association. Uh, I don't have people immediately to my right and my left that can hear everything that I'm doing in my condo and I can hear everything that they're doing. And then also the, the surveillance is ramping up in the cities more and more where there's just cameras everywhere. So nothing you do is, is unmonitored. Uh, whereas you have so much more privacy if you're out here in the country away from all that stuff. And this is only gonna get more and more true as time goes on, right? I mean, the big cities in China right now you can't, you can't move an inch without the government knowing about it because they have cameras on every street corner. Um, and the, the rest of the world is trending in that direction. You know, thankfully we're not there yet, but, but we're going there fast. Everything that China is doing now really is, is kind of the prototype for where the rest of the world is going. So if you value your privacy, then being in the city is, is probably not the best place for you. The next reason you might want to move out of the city is to be closer to nature. For me, this is, this is really important. And the, the older I've gotten, the more I've recognized that, that this is something that just makes me healthier and makes me happier. The air is cleaner. 
the environment is more beautiful. It's just more peaceful. Um, so if you if you like to be close to nature, and, and being close to nature is, is uh, very helpful, by the way, for getting in touch with the spiritual essence of your being, for getting closer to God. And I do think there is a certain beauty to the city, to man-made architecture and to skyscrapers and all that, but uh, I would take the, the beauty of nature over the beauty of the city any day of the week. And, you know, just because you, you live in the in country doesn't mean that you can't go visit the city sometimes when you feel like it. Next reason you might want to move out of the city and into the country is because the people out here are friendlier. Look, I'm not trying to offend anybody, you know, I'm, I've been living in the city my entire life, um, so I'm not, I'm not saying that city people are always terrible, uh, but I'm saying that you get, just in general, in aggregate, you get a, a much higher quality of people, people who are friendlier, people who care more, people who have a higher morality, people who respect each other more. People who are more likely to help you and to, to have your back if you get in a pinch. And people who are more capable of helping you for that matter because the people out here are a lot more self-sufficient than the people who live in the city. Next reason is the lower cost of living. You know, you think with all of these benefits that it would be expensive, but no, actually it's the opposite. You're paying a premium to live in the city and part of that is because uh, a lot of people are trying to live in the city mostly because the jobs are in the city or they perceive that it's trendy to be in the city and so they want to they're they're willing to pay extra for it. And another part of that too is the taxes. That the taxes in the city are almost always higher because you have more corrupt government. You have these uh, politicians that want to soak you for as much money as you possibly can whereas in a, a smaller town or in the country you have that more community where people know each other and it's, it's more difficult for the, the politicians to soak you for your money without any kind of accountability like they do in the city. Next reason to move out to the country is because you can be closer to food. Now, this has two main benefits. Number one is that you get food that's fresher, right? You can buy food directly from farmers or from farmers' markets rather than having to go through the grocery store that's had to go through this whole big supply chain where it's probably been sitting in a warehouse for a week before it even ever gets to the grocery store shelves. And then they put chemicals in the packaging to make the meat look, uh, look more fresh. And you know you, you lose out on a lot of freshness, which translates into uh, the healthfulness of the food. Whereas if you are closer to where the food is produced, then you can buy it directly and it's better for you. And you can even ask the farmer specific questions about how the food is raised. And then the second side to that too is that being close to the food supply means that you are less reliant on the middlemen. You don't have to worry about the grocery stores and the supply chains and the meat packing plants, right? If you know the farmer, or if you go to the farmer's market every every weekend, then uh, if the, the supply chain messes up in the grocery stores, then it's not really a problem because you can go directly to the source. Now, this is something that has started to be a problem recently with uh, food supply chains and I predict will be more and more of a problem as time goes on. And as uh, governments get more and more tyrannical, they get to the point where you need to uh, be in good standing with the government in order to buy food from a grocery store, right? You, you see that the big corporations are putting more restrictions on you than the small businesses are. Uh, and this is something that's that's ramping up and it's getting worse. You know, I've been to countries where in order to buy food from the grocery store, you need to give them your equivalent of a social security number, right? You need to identify yourself with the government just to buy food. Um, and so this is something that's that's getting more and more common. I think it's coming here to the U.S. It's probably coming to the whole world if the people in power uh, get what they ultimately want. So. Uh, to be prepared for that, to be prepared for, for the food shortages and the um, food control, right, from the government, you, it's very, very helpful if you can be close to the source of the food and you can uh, exchange with the farmers directly. Next reason to move out of the city is to have more freedom. Like I said, the governments out here better, are better, they're less restrictive, uh, the taxes are less, you have freedom over your own money, you have more freedom of what to do. Uh, you, you know, where I live, there's no homeowners association, so there's nobody that's going to complain that I put my trash outside at the wrong time. Uh, it's just, if you like freedom, 
then then being in a condo in the middle of the city is is definitely not the place for you right you should have some land you should have a uh, bigger place and you should be outside of the city for sure next reason to move out of the city is that it's just more peaceful out here in the country close to nature it's um, you know, like I said I I am a full-time entrepreneur I eat what I kill um, I don't have any any steady paycheck promised to me so it's it's a stressful life you know I wouldn't trade it for the world I love it I love having the freedom I love having that ability to um, make the amount of money that I earn rather than just the uh, weekly salary that's always the same however it does get stressful and to be able to come out just into your backyard and it's this beautiful oasis in nature, it's just, it's really hard to be stressed here. It's, it's totally peaceful. And so that's super helpful for me. And I think a lot of people that live in the city are stressed out all the time. And so if you get out of that environment uh, and you know, you can test it for a while, right? Just go take a camping trip for a few days where you're not around anybody, where you're in nature uh, and, and see if, it makes it gives you a sense of peace that you didn't have before. I bet it will, because um, we live in this weird situation where there's there's nothing really to be to be afraid of. Uh, there's nothing really bad that could happen to us. We have this kind of base level uh, of anxiety that's with us all the time. That's really unjustified because we have everything we need, right? We have a roof over our heads. We have food. Uh, and so we have this kind of anxiety that, that doesn't really make sense. It's, it's as though there's some threat to our existence that actually doesn't exist, which I believe has more to do with the psychosphere. It has more to do with the energy around you than it does with any actual imminent threat to your life or to your livelihood. Which actually brings me to my final reason to get out of the city and move to the country, which is that the energy is just better here. Uh, that's, there's a, a spiritual component to this, which I'm not entirely sure how to define, but I can feel it. I can feel that the energy is better, close to nature, further from the city, further from people piled on top of each other in boxes. And this actually probably explains a lot of the other benefits, such as the people being more friendly and more respectful and more helpful, right? Because we're all living in this so-called psychosphere, right? Is the, the psychological energy that surrounds us at any given time, that the, the psychosphere is, is much cleaner and healthier. The same way that there, the air is cleaner and there's less pollution, uh, the energy environment here is just so much better and stay here for a couple days and you'll realize it pretty quick. Even if you can't really put a name on it, even if you can't specify exactly how it works, you can feel it. Now I should mention that it's not all sunshine and rainbows here that, uh, you know, there are some things about the city that are more convenient than uh, living in the country. For example, you have a lot more choices of restaurants in the city. You know, that's probably the one thing that I'm going to miss most about the city is that, you know, there's, there's actually a pretty decent supply of restaurants out here, but it can't compare to the, the number of options that you have in the city. And then there's other things like networking with people, you know, there are fewer people to network with. Or, probably few high net worth individuals there are probably fewer businesses out here uh, which you know in the current climate is is actually becoming less and less of a of a problem just because everything is kind of moving online now now especially in the cities people are are afraid to even make contact with each other because they're afraid of getting sick but if this situation ever normalizes then that would be an advantage to being in the city and then you know you have more concerts in the city you have more events um, again, you know, when those start coming back to normal. So it is based on your personal preference. So I'm not trying to say that you, you have to agree with me and you have to see the, the country life is better than the city life. I'm just giving you my reasons here. And now if you're watching this and you agree with me and you, you do live in the city now, but you really like to get out, you know, you really like to get into a, a country setting like this and be close to nature and be in the more peaceful environment, etc. But you just don't know how. The biggest thing that you have to do, most likely, is to find a location independent income, right? I mean, you can find jobs out here, uh, but they're 
there are probably fewer job, or job opportunities in the country as there are in the city. But if you can find a location independent income, then you can go pretty much wherever you want. It, it frees you up enormously. And so there are basically there are two ways to do this. There, you can get a remote job, which lets you work from anywhere. And there are a lot of remote jobs right now. You know, one of the upsides to this whole uh, situation with the disease is that a lot of companies are hiring people to work from home, and if you can work from home, then you can pretty much work from anywhere. So I have a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel about how to find remote jobs, so go check those out you know, if you want to go that route. And then the other route is to start a business, you know, a business where you can be wherever you want. You know, I have an online business that affords me a lot of freedom, and you could do the same thing. And again, I have a lot of content on my channel about how to start a business. You know, if you've been following me, then my whole channel is about how to be free. So part of that is being free to live wherever you want. And so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in living a more free lifestyle, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos. And if you don't really know much about uh, working online, about having an online business, then I'll put a link in the description to a course called the One Funnel Away Challenge that's hosted by ClickFunnels, which is a digital marketing company. It's kind of how I got my start into this, and I would highly recommend it for, you know, just kind of a way to get your feet wet. It's pretty cheap. Uh, but it will teach you a lot and kind of show you whether or not this is something that's worth pursuing for you. So check that out in the description if you're interested. But either way, if you are able to make an income that is location independent, then you have so much more freedom over where you would like to live. And you know, you don't have to go and, and buy a house in some place you've never been before. You know, you go on Airbnb and, and stay there for a week or uh, rent a place for a year before you buy something if you don't want to commit right away. You have the freedom to do that if that's what you want to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up so YouTube likes me better. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button. Share this video with anybody else who you think might want to hear it. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd also really enjoy this video, which will show you how you can plan to get anything you want in your life. If you have this mentality that you want something, you can get it. I show you how to plan the way to it so you will be successful.